New better shelf is being built. It's going over here. 29 gallon stand is probably staying there. We got actually finalized the plans, but that's a big size one. Unfortunately, there is something wrong. Hello and welcome back to the channel everyone. So today's video is going to be an update on all of my animals, all of the projects going on, everything to look forward, and also why I haven't posted that much in the last few weeks. And before we get into this, I just want to quickly mention that I do now have a second channel. It's called Planet Fishness 2, like the number two. The link will be down below. I also have a TikTok, it is just Planet Fishness. And I have an Instagram, planet.fishness. I don't really ever mention my social media stuff, but I did want to put it out there because you can find extra content stuff that obviously isn't on here on those other platforms and on my second channel as well. So just wanted to mention that, but let's go ahead and get into this because as you can see, there's just, there, there's just stuff going on everywhere. So let's go ahead and get into it. So starting out, let me go ahead and throw you guys to some footage of when I kind of did this whole thing here. So let me go ahead and roll those clips if I still have them. This tank right here, it is now time to go ahead and empty it. And once it's completely empty, then we can continue on with the process, so let's go ahead and uh, empty the tank. Alright, well, it took a lot of work, but the tank is now off of there, completely emptied. Well, I guess almost completely emptied. I try to get out as much sand as possible in the shortest amount of time, but now the tank is just right here, just for now until I build the shelves. Now the fun part is just getting all of this out of the way and building the shelves. All right, well, this is where I've left off. As you can see, that shelf is now kind of built. I think I may have to buy another shelving unit because for some reason it just won't go together. So, it's together enough to like have that on it, but obviously not enough, not together or sturdy enough to have water in it, but I want to clean up like the floor and stuff a little bit. But yeah, this was my initial plan was to have two sets of these shelves right here. As you guys know, those shelves used to be over there. They were like really tall. So my plan was to break it in half, not break it cause you can separate it, but put it in half and put them next to each other and then have like big tanks, like, you know, on the top and the bottom as well. But I think I have a better plan. So it hasn't exactly moved from this state yet. That, by the way, is the tank stand for my 29 gallon, which is right here. And there's nothing in it, by the way, not even any water. So in terms of this side of the room, I did come up with a better idea. So leading into the next thing, right here, as you guys know, is my betta stand. Now I built this myself about like a month and a half ago, I wanna say, but as you can tell by looking at the tanks, the water level is tilted, which means that the actual shelves are tilted. I didn't have a level to make this as even as I could have. And obviously when you're dealing with tanks, you really gotta do that. So mistake on my part, but I am rebuilding this. I'm gonna be rebuilding it within the next few days, but with this whole coronavirus thing happening and the whole quarantine thing going on, I am not sick and I'm not in quarantine, but stores like Home Depot, Lowe's, all those stores that I would get supplies at, their hours are shorter. So like I have to get in there and get the supplies within those you know, times. I think Home Depot for me closes like three, three and a half hours early. So I tend to have more free time at the later part of the day. So it is kind of messing up my schedule. And that is another reason why I haven't gotten to upload too much because with this whole thing going on, I've been working more on one of those service workers, you know? So I've been working like overtime, triple time, just a lot of time. So I haven't had a chance really to go and get the supplies, but I will be rebuilding that shelf so that it's nice and even. And that shelf I believe is gonna go over here. So I think I'm gonna build it to go right here and then the 29 gallon i think is going to stay here on this stand or maybe i'll build a new one and then on this side of the room which is a complete disaster do not mind it also the tanks are low because i gotta fill them up and it was just oh yeah and regarding like the tanks being filled up and everything i just wanted to mention that i've been getting a lot of like hate comments negative comments on my videos so I just want to remind you all that this channel is all about positivity and if your channel is negative or hateful, it will be deleted. Why have hate and negativity when we can have positivity? So thank you everyone for all your comments, but I just want to let you know that for anyone who does leave like a negative comment or a hateful comment, it will be deleted. So all those comments regarding like all those comments regarding like the tanks being low and everything. The main reason for that is because usually on the days that I do film are the days that I'm actually here to do like service on the tanks, not just feed the fish or, you know, check their water or anything. These are the days that I have more time 
that's why I'm able to film these days. So you see the tanks low, that's the same day that I'm <laughs> supposed to be filling up the tanks and doing all that stuff. New better shelf is being built. It's going over here. 29 gallon stand is probably staying there. I don't know, I'll probably build something else. But like I was saying, this wall is going to be like a big stand and it's gonna have some really cool tanks on it. It's gonna look awesome. Still have my 55 gallon pond to do. And also this pond right here doesn't have anything in it yet. But yeah, we still have the 55 gallon to work on, which will be completed, don't worry. I'm still working everything out. That smaller pond will be getting stuff in it. I just have a really hard time deciding on what I wanna put in these things. On top of all that, if you didn't see my video on my second channel, which you should go check out, my shrimp actually did start to produce some babies. I don't know how many you'll be able to see, but there is one like right there, there's a little shrimp. Um, right here, no, that's not a shrimp. Where is another one? Let me try and find one. There's another one actually. Right on the wood back there, there's another little baby shrimp and that's a big size one. So they got a lot of growing to do. So that's a little update on the shrimp and that's kind of some projects that I have going on. Also, I am going to be getting a new animal. It's an animal that I've wanted my entire life. You guys can go ahead and comment down below some guesses that you have because it's really exciting. I've been preparing for it now for about a month and doing a bunch of research and getting all these supplies. I've been literally stocking up on supplies for this animal for the last like month, like just random things that I think I need. So definitely stay tuned for me getting that animal, but here's another update on the glow tank. I haven't gotten a fish for it yet. The filter was too strong. It flipped this thing over. I didn't make any adjustments on it just yet, but when I do get this thing up and running, hopefully we will get a glow better for it and there will be an update on Lucky in this video as well. Moving on to Mufasa here. His tank isn't looking too good. I don't know what's going on. Maybe a shrimp died, I can't tell. And Mufasa here, unfortunately there is something wrong with him. I will be posting a video on my second channel if you wanna go check it out and find out what is wrong with him. By the way, that wasn't supposed to be like a happy thing either because it's really not happy, it's really sad. But you can go check it out if you want. Um, anything that I mentioned in this video that I don't like elaborate on, you can definitely go check out on my second channel because there will be individual videos of different things that, like I said, don't really make the cut for this video or other videos. So moving on, Lila down here, she's doing pretty well um still really active still growing doing her thing her tank is also doing pretty well the java moss spread out and is kind of you know growing and it is kind of taking over the tank or starting to so i may have to trim some of that or put it in another tank but otherwise she's still doing amazing this tank right here i just don't have anything in i'll probably do like an entire video on this tank because this was my first like actual fish tank and it's extremely dirty so maybe i'll do like a cleaning video on it or something so moving right over to here albert is still doing well as always and his tank is looking a little bare but the plants are doing pretty well and he's doing well so that's always a good thing and he's excited to see me as always another thing i want to bring up is merch i am still working on coming up with other designs for merch i have other ideas it's just that nothing is completed and i haven't had time to complete the things but don't worry new merch is coming out with all different designs and you will start to see me wearing my merch in my videos once i complete the designs and actually get some shipped to me. So that's just another little update on that. But the 29 gallon, like I was talking about, it's completely empty now. There's nothing but sand and some dried plants. And here's my siphon. But other than that, nothing going on with this just yet. I'm trying to figure out what I want to put in it. Now the hermit crabs tank is in here. Don't ask me why. It was just kind of like, it just happened. And I just kind of like placed it in here for now. But Hermit crabs, as I know, are doing well. I've been feeding them. They've been drinking all their water, everything like that. So that's always a good sign. And their tank should be getting an upgrade once I kind of get all this other stuff done in the room. So unfortunately, because I haven't finished, you know, this room's layout isn't the easiest to kind of plan for tanks. So I have had time, I have had trouble trying to plan out where I want to put shelves, how big the shelves are, how many tanks I want everything like that it has been a little bit difficult so last week i actually finalized the plans for the room and when i do finish it you guys will see a whole like tour and everything it is going to be amazing when i'm done with it it just takes time and unfortunately resources and stuff aren't as accessible with this whole like virus thing going on so it is going to take a little bit extra time but hopefully with this whole thing going on i'll also have more time to get this stuff done i know i'm talking a lot i apologize so yeah i'm not sure if i'm going to keep this stand because also it is not the most sturdy. Um, I don't know when I took it apart and tried to rebuild it, something happened where this stuff is just not as sturdy as it was when it was on the other side of the room. So the last few things I just wanna to touch on in this room anyway, are that for one, all this stuff is being worked on and the reason that, you know, I have all these empty tanks. I got an empty 20 gallon, I have two empty 10 gallons, an empty 29 gallon, an empty 55 gallon pond, an empty 
like 27 gallon pond. I actually have even more in my actual bedroom. With all that being said, I have a lot of empty space and a lot of room for new fish and new animals, but although I am gonna be getting more and new ones, it does take time because I want the room to be finished before I start buying more animals and stuff because that's just the responsible thing to do. It would just be really irresponsible of me to buy a bunch of fish and animals and fill up all these tanks and then have to take them out and put them in buckets and do the whole moving process. It's just not worth it. So that's why it also has been taking long because I'm, you know, constantly moving things around and coming up with new ideas. So now that I actually have a finalized plan, it'll move a lot faster and then all these tanks will be filled up you know, within videos in the coming months, weeks, stuff like that. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it for the room. Um, like I said, everything is kind of getting built. I have to build a lot of shelves. There's a huge shelf on that wall, like I said, going in. That's probably gonna hold at least five tanks, if not more, like two 20 gallons, three 10 gallons at the very least. So that has to get built. And like I said, it is a little bit difficult with this whole like virus thing going on. But for the most part, everything is doing really well. I'm gonna go ahead and send you over to my bedroom now where I have Lucky and where I have my gecko so you guys can get an update on them. But anything that you want more of an update on or if you want more content and more videos, like I said, you can check out my second channel. I don't mean to be so repetitive, but I will and I do post a lot more on there than I do on my main channel just for now. And as, like I said, as I get more things built in this room, then it can hold more tanks and I can definitely get more things that I've been wanting to get. So let me go ahead and send you over to my bedroom to update you guys on that and I'll close out the video. All right, well, now I'm in my bedroom and unfortunately I didn't get a chance to do the update part, like this part of the update a couple weeks ago when I actually started filming this video. As part of the update, I'm just gonna let you guys know that Lucky did pass away about a week ago, I wanna say. I do have all the footage. There probably will be a video on my second channel all about that and like, it was just, it was just really, really sad. So I just wanna give you guys an update on terms of, in terms of Lucky and then the geckos over here. Let me go ahead and show you guys them. Well, that right there is their uh, Apache that they, first time I gave it to them was yesterday and they did eat some of it, but you know, not all of it, obviously. They're two little geckos. So let's see if we can find either one of them. One of them is usually like in this big in here, but um, yeah, the plants aren't doing too well. But other than that, the geckos have been doing fine. So uh, uh, sorry for the lighting not being the best. It is kind of later in the day. Uh, so yeah, I think that's pretty much it. That's kind of like the update. I haven't really done anything the last like two weeks since I recorded those clips. I haven't done too much in terms of like moving anything or building anything because it's just been really hectic. So like I said, hopefully everything is doing well. Lucky did pass away about a week ago. I do have him frozen in the freezer because um, I do plan on burying him like properly. And other than that, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.